Well, hello. This year, we're going to do an online weekly broadcast for Lent. This year, let's try to avoid reducing Lent to I'm not going to eat chocolate. Perhaps don't think so much about what you're giving up. Think about what you're taking up. What I'm going to do this week that is positive. Think about what you might do. Lent is a period of contemplation and reflection. It's a time where we prepare ourselves for Easter and also where we remember the 40 days and nights that Jesus spent in the wilderness, largely in prayer and contemplation. So can we use Lent as a period to reflect on that? To think about what is important, what our priorities are, and to introduce the spiritual dimension in that. What will our journey towards Easter be like in the coming weeks? Taking Jesus as our example, Jesus deliberately went into the desert. You couldn't get a quieter place than that. And he spent 40 days and 40 nights in prayer and contemplation. And Jesus taught his disciples to seek a quiet place and pray. And by that he meant seeking silence and solitude to contemplate, to let go and let God. We spend too much of our time talking when we should be listening. Let go and let God. What does that mean? It means shedding all the anxious thoughts and switching off all the background noise of this world. It means creating a space in the silence for God to communicate with us. Quite often, modern Christian prayer comes up like a shopping list. This is possibly because our Western culture is about working and achieving. However, the early Christians did quite the opposite. They went out to quiet places to be closer to God. And I believe they were. So at this start of Lent this year, I'm going to ask you to find quiet places. It may be a quiet room in your house, or it may be somewhere out in the park or in the woods. But I'm going to ask you to find a quiet place somewhere that the only noise perhaps is birdsong. And you are to forget about what you need to do the rest of the day and just give it a rest. Just let go and let God. 